welcome to Solid Gold. Solid Gold dancer number seven is a local girl made good, LA's very own Helene Phillips. Helene is five foot five inches, 108 pounds, and she's danced with Fred Astaire, Arthur Murray, Jan Murray, Ginger Rogers, Mr. Rogers, and dozens of total strangers. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> and dear Helene, who joined the Peace Corps in 1973 and spent two years teaching natives in foreign lands how to tap dance on dirt. <laughs> oh, you're brave, yes, truly a wonderful group of troopers. Now get out on that stage and do it like you don't need the money, kids. Yes, indeed, with more of this week's countdown, the Solid Gold Dancers. Put it down. The countdown continues with a band that was named the best new artist of 1980 by Rolling Stone magazine. The Police have the number four song, Every Little Thing She Does Is Magic. A southern lady, Juice Newton's remake of Angel of the Morning is at number three. If you think that it ain't feeling right, the countdown continues with a former studio musician for Elvis Presley. Ronnie Millsap holds down number seven with There's No Getting Over Me. You'll see. working in a department store. Today, he has this week's number six record, Joey Scarborough, and believe it or not. One of the hottest records in the country, Sheena Easton's Morning Train 9 to 5 is this week's number three song. Number two single of 73 was also the theme song of a James Bond movie, Live and Let Die by Paul McCartney and Wings. from Xanadu, Olivia Newton-John had the number nine song, Magic. The year-end countdown continues with number 38. It's a song by a performer from Montreal who's been chosen Canada's number one male singer for five years in a row. Gino Vanelli and Living Inside Myself. At 
number 28 is an incredible recreation of the Beatles sound. The stars on 45's medley. The Number seven song is the second hit in our top 40 by Daryl Hall and John Oates. And the smash hit Private Eyes is also featured in this next film segment. Watch. And it's another lucky number for Donna Summer, The Wanderer, number seven. Five, Paul and Oates found gold with You've Lost That Love and Feel It. Produced by Quincy Jones, George Benson's Give Me the Night is holding strong at number eight. Give me the night. Opening act for Rod Stewart, Air Supply is right on the mark with their number one smash, All Out of Love. This daughter of a respected publisher must have read the right books. In the number 19 slot is another hit by Carly Simon, Jesse. Countdown continues with Kenny Loggins. Only three weeks on the chart. I am all right. The theme from the movie Caddyshack is already at 14. Seeger scores big with You'll Accompany Me, number 11. It's written down somewhere, it's got to be. High above me, flying wild and free. Oh, but someday, lady, you'll accompany me. In a three-year period, Kenny Rogers in the first edition had 10 hit records, and one of the biggest was 1969's Ruby, Don't Take Your Love to Town. For God's sakes, turn around. Since 1975, every album released by this duo has gone gold or platinum. Daryl Hall and John Oates have the number three record, I Can't Go For That, No Can Do. His third week on our list, Gino Vanelli checks in at number seven with Living Inside Myself. Sisters, the pointers are at number six with He's So Shy. Dolly Parton keeps the countdown moving with Solid Gold's number four song, Nine to Five. Giving her best at number nine, Pat Benatar with Hit Me With Your Best Shot. Hit me with your best shot. Fire away. Love on the rocks. Ain't no surprise. On his way to the top, Neil Diamond stops off at number six with Boy, Love on the Rocks. Can I tell you some lies? Got nothing to lose. 